welcome to its tomorrow news i am hena talati storm very central united states in cross has again at least two tornadoes caused damage near oklahoma city on thursday as the latest round of severe weather swept through the plains sheriff's deputies reported damage to homes and businesses in the towns of noble and cole though there were no reported injuries with either tornado the great plains remain the focus of the nation's weather story as friday features the renewed threat of the severe weather and flooding for millions of the people severe storms appear likely in the parts of south dakota nebraska iowa missouri kansas oklahoma and texas Many of the same areas face increased risks of flooding rains as well. NOAA officials say the waters in the Central Pacific Ocean are warming and are on the caps of the reaching the El Nino threshold. The phenomenon can impact everything from animal migration to the amount of activity during the hurricane season. Speaking of the hurricane season, it turns out that it already started. Meteorologists at the National Hurricane Center said they took another look at the powerful storm that formed in the Atlantic in January and determined it became a subtropical storm. The latest round of severe weather to sweep through the central United States focused much of its wrath in Oklahoma, Kansas and Arkansas on Thursday with the reports of tornadoes, large hail and flooding downpours. In Oklahoma, there were few tornadoes spotted around the Oklahoma City metro area Thursday evening into the Thursday night. South of Oklahoma City, daylight revealed the extent of damages in the town of Cole. Images show piles of the rubble strewn across the driveway and almost covering a car. The National Weather Service tweeted that the twister was rated EF1 meaning that it was caused by the tornado with the wind speeds between 86 and 110 miles per hour. One tornado was observed in the town of Noble which is also south of Oklahoma City. A few businesses, homes and power lines were damaged by the suspected tornado according to the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office. The NWS reported some power flashes were also visible along the funnel's path but no one was injured. That's all for now for more news updates. Stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.